Hello and welcome back. So now the zombie can walk with you. The walk point the zombie can pursue the player as well. Now let's add the attacking AI to our zombie. So in the zombie one script at the top, right here, let's create a header. And inside this header, we will type the zombie health and damage variables. So the first one which we will be declaring will be a public float which will be by the name of give damage this will be equals to 5f okay or zombie will give 5 units damage after this right here after this look point let's create a reference to a camera from where the zombie will uh, ray cast or ray and it will damage the player so let's name this as attacking ray cast area okay and the code for the zombie will be similar to the rifle okay the zombie will create an invisible ray from this camera and when it hits the player it will damage up the player okay so after this pursue player let's create a private void by the name of attack player let's copy this right here now we will say that if the player is in the vision radius and also the player is in attacking radius then we will call this attack function and in here we will now type the code for attack but first of all right here after this zombie guarding let's create another header by the name of zombie attacking variables and in here we will have two Variable. the first one will be public float by the name of time between attack and then we will have a pool which will be previously attack okay now let's get down to the attack function right here first we will check if the zombie didn't previously attack then we want to attack the player okay so let's create a raycast head by the name of head info and in here we will store info of whatever the raycast hit okay this is the same logic as we did for the rifle now we will check and make sure that our raycast moves in the forward direction and also um, we save information about the objects with the raycast what the raycast did okay and also we want to restrict the ray by the attacking radius okay so whatever is inside the attacking radius the raycast will only hit that so right here simply say physics dot raycast and then we will say attacking raycast area dot transform dot position and let's say attacking raycast area dot transform dot forward we want to create a raycast in the forward direction then we want to store whatever the raycast it inside this hit info and we want to restrict the raycast by the attacking radius and for testing purposes now we will just uh, print out the name in the console of whatever the array hits so we will say dot.log attacking and it will show the name that whatever the zombie is attacking and if the zombie attacks then what we will do we will set the previously attack to true okay and then we will say invoke name of 
active attacking and then time between attacks so uh, if we set the time between attacks to for example one second then after every one second the player uh, the zombie will attack okay so we will uh, first check that if the previously attack is set to false then we will attack we will set that to true again we will wait for one or two second whatever you set the time between attacks okay so if it is one second then it will wait for one second and then when the programs runs again then it will check that if this is set to false and if it is set to false it will attack and again and again this will go in the same way so for now we didn't set this to false anywhere and this is the reason that we have created this active attacking function so after this attack player what we will do we will say private void active attacking okay this is the function and inside this function we will simply say that set the previously attack to false okay so when this function calls it will check that if it is set to false attack we will set this to true and then after that we will call this atta uh, active attacking and in here we just set this to false okay now let's just simply save this get back to unity but here we need to add the attacking raycast area so in the zombie right here what we will do we will create a camera and let's name this as zombie attacking area or whatever you want to call it and actually we will move this right here and a little bit forward like this okay actually we just move this a little bit forward more and simply deactivate that and now add this in there set the time between attack to one second or you can set it to whatever you want okay let's save it and let's play the game make sure that you disable the camera which we created for the zombie and as you can see now the zombie is walking between the walk points and now when we come inside the zombie as you can see now it shows that attacking player and after every one second as you can see the zombie attack us but if we get behind the zombie as you can see the zombie is not attacking us because the camera is facing forward and it is creating the playcast in the forward direction so right here what we want to do that when we come behind the zombie we want to change the zombie facing and in order to do that in the script right here the attack player at the top let's say zombie agent dot set destination let's set the destination which will be transform dot position okay what this will do this will simply stop the zombie at one point at the attack uh, radius okay it will stop the zombie when the zombie is attacking and then what we want to do we want the zombie to look at the player so we will say transform dot look at and now as i told you i will explain what this look point will do so we want the zombie to look at this look point okay and you guys will be thinking that we can just simply tell the zombie that to look at the player body but let me show you why we will be not doing that let's save it get back to unity okay here is the zombie and in zoom um, sorry player and then in the player we have the look point at the player feeds okay let's focus upon the zombie and for now in the look at let's just add this player okay and you will notice the behavior of the zombie now you will notice that the zombie will change the position okay according to the player 
because you have code for that now as you can see you can see this behavior of the zombie whoops let's just jump as you can see now the zombie do that and we actually don't want that okay so that's why in the zombie we add this look point now let's play the game again okay let's run towards the zombie now you will notice that the zombie is attacking us see every one second and now the zombie can change facing as well as you can see and when we jump the zombie still attack us and actually you can make this look point a little bit more down below so that the zombie don't do that okay so this is the reason we added this look point Okay guys, so with this done, now in the next video we will allow the zombie to damage the player. Because for now the zombie is simply shooting a raycast and not damaging the player. So in the next video we will do that. So catch you guys in the next one.